Hey all, this is Dr. D and today I just had a great idea. I have wanted to create a lot of educational content for a long time, but one of the biggest issues I always had was uh, trying to create well, board exam questions. You kind of figure that at some point, every question has been asked and it's been asked in every way. But in the end, the board exam writers always seem to find some new weird way of asking a question. And I was kind of curious, to see if ChatGPT could create a question for me, could create a series of questions that I could then use in later content, in videos, in uh, you know differential diagnoses and other purposes. So I decided to ask it. I started off with just kind of giving it the prompt to tell me what the USMLE Step Two exam is about, and it was able to give you know the pretty standard explanation of the different sections, how many questions are in each block, how many blocks there are. But then I wanted to see if it could write a question. But not only that, use the NBME's item writing guide to really create content, create a question or several questions that are within the same style and follow the same rules. And you know, it did so pretty quickly. It didn't seem to have too much of an issue with this. And being that this is only the second prompt I gave it, I would say these are really good questions. They're questions that I could use in some kind of content or with a tutoring session with a learner or something along those lines. Okay, so it can give us some questions, but what about the answers? And, you know, we often get caught up in those two answers are very close. Which one is it going to be? And there are actually rules for writing questions like this in the MBME's item writing guide. So again, giving it the prompt to use that said, write answer options for the questions that you gave previously with one correct answer. And again, it did so very quickly. Now it took a while for it to rewrite out the question, which was unfortunate, but it did give us a couple of answer options for each question, and then it gave the correct answer at the end. Now that's pretty cool. That can save a lot of time for question writers. And actually in the future, a lot of these uh, companies like UWorld and Amboss and you know Board Vitals might have some competition here with AI writers. But that's not the only thing that these board exam companies do is they'll give reasoning for why each answer is right or wrong. They'll give a description that helped to solidify the learner's knowledge in these topics. So I decided to give it the prompt to you know, explain the answers. And it did. It gave reasoning for each one, why they're right, why they are wrong, and expanded on the knowledge base that uh, it drew the questions from. So you could see how using something like this as a test writer could save a lot of time, but also potentially as a student, you can ask it to give you differential diagnoses and explain why one of them might be more likely than the other based on the information presented, based on the prompt. I just want to give a quick tutorial and go through just my initial thoughts on this first time trying it. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Can you use this for learning or can you use this to create content? What would you do differently? How can you give it better prompts to get more detailed information or to have more similarly uh, grouped questions that are more difficult to answer? I'd be curious to hear. Let me know.